Do you smell that? Oh, we care. Yeah, we care a lot. Where'd it go? They don't look up. Stand up and try so they're forced to look up. Yeah, they, they don't look up. They're licking the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get it. Okay, Kepler. Oh, there he goes. He sees just the one. He doesn't like that it exists. He's going to have a... Oh, <laughs> oh nice. poor thing. Satan. <laughs> he popped it with his nose. Yeah, I think the, the one downside about, you know, bubbles... It's kind of the same thing that vets talk about with uh, the laser pointer, is that it, it disappears, and then I guess that, to some extent, can drive the cats crazy. So, like, they can chase after the bubbles, but I'm not sure that they understand that when they pop them, they did it, it's gone. They, they might think that it's still around. <laughs> Can't be. Boy, she would not do very well in snow. You got it. Good boy. The catnip a aspect was something I was e really expecting them to react more to. And that really hasn't happened, I guess, because there's probably such little catnip in it. It's really just them reacting to the bubbles. And Sagan's already beyond done. He's like, yeah, this is... <laughs> I'm just over this. At this point, they're just licking the floor, so I guess we're done. But it was a fun little experiment. Can't be that fun. Yeah. It's interesting because Sagan is definitely the one that normally plays. Yeah. And he was not going on the uh, the offensive here after the bubbles. Kep was definitely the one that was more interested in in getting them. But both of them are willing to lick the floor. 